morning, everybody. This is Evan Salinas with EXP Realty. And good morning. My name is Chip Fuchik. And today, you know, we wanted to do, I, I'm, I was, I'm really excited to do this interview with Chip. Uh, I've known Chip uh, my whole life, it seems like. And so um, he's an architect. And so I wanted to interview him for this season of Interviewed by a Realtor. And so here we are. Let's go ahead and get into it. So what is your name and what is it that you do? My name is Chip Fuchik. I'm an architect and I do residential projects. I do remodels, I do additions, and I do new construction as well. Okay, and so what is it that you would say is your primary bread and butter? I probably do more remodels, additions and remodels right now. Okay. And so, you know, a client comes to you, what is it they're usually wanting to get done? You say it's a remodel. Are they trying to basically add on to their house, change it completely, or what is it they're looking for? Uh, a, little, a little of everything. You know, a lot of kitchens and master bathrooms, sometimes it's a smaller home um, and they want to maybe turn one bedroom into a master. So they'll maybe enlarge that bedroom and they'll add a, a bathroom and a larger closet to make it more of a, of a master suite. And are you seeing things change uh, over this last several years as far as what people are asking for? Uh, has that changed at all? Is it all pretty much been the same? Not really, it's really been pretty consistent. Um, I've been really on my own the last eight years and it's been, you know, kind of a, what I said, a lot of kitchen, bathroom remodels and some additions. So I've heard your story a little bit of how you, you got started on your own, but what got you into this originally? What got you into uh, being an architect? Well, uh, I guess probably like pretty much every architect of the last 70 or 80 years, it started with Legos and drawing. And, uh, you know, every kid does that. I assume uh, some kids stick with it a little bit longer. And so that's what I did. And I decided to make it a career. I just always liked creating things and building and of course building forts in the room and stuff like that. So went to architecture school and got my degree and uh, just kind of bounced around early on. I moved up to Dallas shortly after I graduated, did, uh, did red lobster remodels. And that lasted about eight months. And fortunately they, they finally fired me and got rid of me. So uh, I moved on and did some some architectural model building, which I enjoyed. And then um, I guess in 98, I moved back to Houston and got on with a, a residential firm and really found what I, I think I was meant to do. I, I really enjoyed that and was there for several years and then moved out on my own after that. And, you know, I remember you telling me a story a little bit, and if you don't want to tell the story, it's fine, but you were telling me that the, the Red Lobster rebuilding, when you first started, actually came into play early on, was it? Whenever you first started your own business, there was a bathroom uh, remodel that somebody offered you really, you really didn't want to do, and uh, so no, that's... I know the story you're talking about, and this was actually, this was, I was on my own early on, or this was early on in my career being on my own. And it was a, a project, a, a contractor had gotten my name from another architect and just approached me and asked if I would like to do this, uh, do some drawings for a, for the men's laboratory at a, at a country club. And I was in no position to turn anything down. So I took it gladly. And from there I met other people and it just, it's funny how many projects I can now trace back to the men's laboratory project. <laughs> so I think the uh, the lesson there is don't turn anything down because you, you never know. Yeah, I heard that recently. It's like you never know what that thing is going to be, that one person you helped or worked with that's the end up being like the biggest uh, turning point for your entire career, sure. that one thing. So you talked about it early on, um, playing with Legos and how it kind of changed into um, being an architect, what would you say if you weren't doing this, what would you be doing? Well, I'd probably have to go back in time, maybe about 45 years or so and start learning an instrument. I think I, I might like to be a, a musician, but um, I, I, I don't really play anything. I, I own some instruments, but I don't really play anything. So um, it would be nice to have developed some musical ability as a child and maybe pursue that path. 
What what uh, instrument would you have played? I would have learned on piano. Um, oh. As as a child of 26, I got the idea that I would like to learn violin. So uh, I took some lessons in Dallas, took some lessons here when I moved back to Houston and still have the violin, but uh, it's been a few years since I've pulled it out of the case. Sometimes it's just, uh, you know, get a taste of it a little bit and then, you know, uh, just keep it for memories, if you would. Sure. I, I scratched that itch, at least. <laughs> exactly. And so what is your favorite thing about what you do? I love, um, I guess, creating, seeing where the project will go, uh, coming up with the design and just seeing the, or getting the, the positive feedback from the clients. It's also really fun once construction begins and starting to see it take shape. Uh, this morning I went by a project that I, I was excited about early on when I got it, it was a house. And it was another case of what I mentioned to you where they took kind of an existing bedroom in the back of the house and they added on to it and created a master suite. And it was a house that I actually saw a couple of years ago on one of my bike rides. And the, the client approached me, uh, he, she got my name through a, another contractor I'd worked with. And so I was really excited to get that project. And then now, like I say, it's under construction. So it's been, it's been really fun to go see it take shape in real life. And so what would you say is your least favorite thing? Obviously, it seems like your favorite thing is just seeing what you've designed come into real life. What is your least favorite thing you say? I guess sometimes trying to work with a deadline is a little tricky. Um, you know, you sit down with a project and you've got a few hours of frustration ahead of you and then and finally the ideas start to come together. It takes time and you don't know how long that's going to take some time. And sometimes it feels like kind of a, a pencils down situation, you know, when you're in school and usually taking a test or whatever and the teacher says, all right, pencils down, you're not necessarily finished. And that's the case with trying to create something. Um, it might take a couple hours, it might take a couple of weeks, you just don't know. But once, um, once an idea comes to you and you think, okay, well, I can, I can work with this or from that it leads to something else and finally finally the the finished design comes about but it just takes time and sometimes it feels like i'm a little short on time and um, might have to just kind of go with what the client likes you know it's great but i think sometimes it could be a, a little bit better so you know to kind of follow up on that same question you know it seems like with the problem solving part of it if you come to a problem, you come to something and you're really not sure how to solve it. And like you said, your deadline is approaching. What are some of your steps that you take to try to solve that problem to get it complete so that you can go ahead and get it to meet that deadline? Uh, go for a walk or a bike ride. <laughs> now, sometimes you step away and then you come back to it and then maybe the, uh, the ideas come. Uh, beyond that, it's just focus. You know, you just don't do other things and then push through to get it finished. But when you're stuck, then it's, it's helpful sometimes to step away and get some air, get some sun and get, get back to it then afterward. That's a great answer. So you, you said earlier, you know, remodels is some of the main things that you do, but you mentioned new construction. And so how's that going on? What are some of the new construction things that you are working on right now? Right now I'm not working on anything. Um, in the past I've worked on some and I've gotten a couple things built, but I had a, a few projects there where we were basically finished with the design. One project was even permitting and they said, well, our situation has changed and we, we found another house or something else happened. We, we sold a lot. So, um, so I've got some renderings on my website. Um, so right now there's, there's no new construction. I've got some possibilities on the horizon. Some people have approached me, but there's nothing, nothing firm right now. So it's funny as you say that before we run out of time here, you said you have some of your renderings. What are, without pulling it up 
right now? What are some of the designs you're going for? I know right now it seems like if you're in the northwest side of town, a lot of the new construction is these slimmer houses and they're doing, you know, uh, just basically they're just trying to utilize all the space. It seems like there's no front yards. It's just up and down and all uh, kind of small rooms and huge masters and huge like living room areas. What is it that you would design or what is your renderings looking like? Well, I've got actually two projects that are under construction now where I've got some renderings on my website and they're kind of polar opposites. And that one, one is a very traditional home built in, I think, 1940 and it's in Louisville, Kentucky. And so it's actually kind of on a little elevated lot, a pretty large lot, and there were no real spatial uh, restrictions. We had plenty of room to work with, but they really just wanted to expand a bedroom to create a master suite. So we kind of popped out in front of the house. The other project that I visited this morning is uh, kind of a mid-century mid modern, mid-1950s mid house. And they wanted to add on to the back, but they were very, the space was very tight. There was a pool back there and then there was a property line. So we've kind of squeezed a, a bathroom and couple of closets into that narrow area. And I, I think it's going to work out well, but it's just, you had two, two completely opposite um, situations where one, one had, for our purposes, unlimited room and the other one had a very tight space to work in. So it's just a matter of just kind of seeing the space and seeing what you can do and just kind of working around that. Sure. And in both cases, I really wanted the additions to look like part of the house as well. So we, we had kind of a vocabulary to work with and it was just a matter of creating the space and then making it look or making it work seamless with, with the existing home. So uh, to go ahead and wrap this up, what kind of client are you looking for today? What is your ideal client uh, kind of looking like for you right now? I don't really have an ideal other than they're just, they're enthusiastic. Usually that's the case. I mean, you know, they, they're, they're looking to add on or build a new. And so it's always an exciting process. So uh, it's really just anyone who wants to do that sort of thing. Um, I could probably even work in a birdhouse or a dog house if anyone's interested, but I've got a pretty good workload right now, but just anybody who wants to do a, a residential project, I'm always interested. Wonderful. And if they are trying to get a hold of you, what's the best way to get a hold of you? Go ahead. You can call me at 832-741-1068, or you can take a look at my website. It's uh, chipfuturearchitect.com, or uh, send me an email at chip at chipfuturearchitect.com. Yes. Wonderful. And I'll put all that information on the screen and in the description below this helpful. video. So if anybody wants okay. to check you out, they can go ahead and see you there. Um, I, think, I think that's about it. Any final thoughts you want to add to this? No, I think that's it. Perfect. All right. Well, uh, so I'm Evan Salinas with EXP Realty. And I'm Chip Fuchik with Chip Fuchik Architect. Y'all take care.